Hello there guys, what is going on? Son of Chelsea back here again for another edition of Team Selector ahead of tomorrow's game against Wolves in the Premier League. Uh, the international break is over, finally. Um, it wasn't as bad as some other international breaks. I did enjoy watching a bit of England and of course Mason Mount uh, getting some time on the pitch. But the real stuff starts again uh, and Chelsea have, have a tricky game at Molyneux. Uh, a place we lost last season, we didn't beat Wolves in the league. Eden Hazard saved us last minute at home, if you remember, back in March. Um, and Wolves, of course, are a team that I think are perfectly set up to, to play against teams like Chelsea in the top six, really. They, and, and they're going to be pushing for that top six, I think, in, in some cases this season because the quality they have, the tactical flexibility they have, they're not scared to, to not be playing with the ball. They, they'll have low possession. I think we saw that against Manchester United a few weeks ago. And that's something Chelsea have got to be wary of. They're a very smart team, Wolves, who, of course, now are in European football. Football. We're going to start the Europa League campaign uh, this week. Um, so it will be tricky, will be difficult. But I do believe Chelsea, with some of the players coming back now, Frank is going to start to have a stronger team and a stronger squad to play with. And my hope is defensively we can improve, uh, tactically we can improve. And I think it'd be a really good three points and a really good start if we can get a win tomorrow at Molyneux to what is going to be a tricky week for Chelsea. Um, but my team starting off, got to start, of course, in goal with Kepa. Um, I saw a stat about his save percentage not being the best in the league, um, which is obvious because of the amount of goals we've conceded. But only one of those goals for me, I think Kepa could have done better at. You know, a lot of the chances we're giving away at the moment and a lot of the goals, if you look at them, are almost easy chances for the opposition. They're one-on-ones where it's a 50-50 um, or it's just you know an open goal basically an open chance where the keeper really can't do anything so I think Kepa is going to improve as our defense improves we know how good of a keeper he is and if you saw that save he made in international duty for Spain we know the quality he has at the back four Dave of course Reese James coming back for development squad uh, tonight but he won't obviously won't be ready so Dave uh, as right back again Back to, for me, Andreas Christensen and returning, finally, Antonio Rudiger. That is our back two for me. That is the, the best back two I believe we have. I, I thought that last season at periods, and I think this will be the one going forward long term. I think both of them have that quality. Um, of course, Christensen didn't play against Sheffield United, but I think he'll be reinstated to the team now. And I think both him and Rudiger can build up a really good chemistry. And Rudiger, for me, our best defender, it's going to be so good to have him back playing in that back four, which I think is going to improve it. Emerson, of course, at uh, left back. The midfield three, uh, of course, hopefully, and, and what appears to be N'Golo Kante will be returning finally as well. Um, the amount of, the lack of game time, sorry, he has, he has had so far this season is staggering. And considering how crucial he is to our team, we've already seen it periods this season, how crucial he is. Having him back, I think, along with Rudiger is going to really make a massive impact. So the midfield three for me, Jorginho, Mateo Kovacic and Angolo Kante. That is the midfield three. I think I was so pleased when I saw that in the Super Cup. I thought it worked so well. I think the fluidity, the the, the movement that midfield gives us, especially with Kovacic really improving this season and uh, Kante doing what Kante does. And I think especially in even more an advanced role, like he was under saying what Lampard used him for in the, in the Super Cup, I think is a perfect position for him to continue to do the work he did last year and uh, really help us uh, moving the ball forward and also intercepting, doing what Kante does, helping to control the game along with Jorginho and Kovacic. So that is my midfield three. Um, left wing for me, once again, Mason Mount. Of course, Mason Mount for me has to start in this team. He has such a good impact uh, going forward. Um, but at the moment, I still feel that I, I just prefer him out on the out on the left wing, and I, and I think that is good preparation for him for when Ruben is back because Ruben's good, obviously going to have to feature in this team eventually, and as well other players. And I think he gives that outlet goal wise, and he has to be in that starting eleven. For, so for me, Mason Mount out on the left, on the right, you would say. Pulisic probably, but I just get the sense if Pedro is fit, he'll play Pedro. I think that Lamps will reinstill a bit of experience. He played Pedro at the start of the season. Of course, Pulisic has got criticism, but with his age, uh, with coming into a new league, I'm willing to give Pe uh, Pulisic sorry, a lot of time. And I think he's going to continue to grow. We've already seen how good he has been. And I think in the Champions League, he's actually going to have quite a good year. Um, I think he'll be good for that. So he could be reinstated for that Valencia game, no problem. And as, as well, come off the bench uh, tomorrow against uh, Wolves. Um, but I'd probably go Pedro in right wing for me. I just think that that experienced head there, I think would probably come in if, if he is fit. Um, 
And then, of course, up front, our top goal scorer, Tammy Abraham, who I think, once again, hopefully will continue to find the back of the net and improve and get better um, and should be really bursting with confidence after his last couple of games um, and hopefully will continue that good form. Um, so that is my starting eleven, my team selector ahead of the game against Wolves in the Premier League. It's going to be a tricky game, but I have full faith that Chelsea can get a positive result at the start of what is going to be quite a tricky and interesting week uh, for Frank Lampard's squad. Let me know your starting eleven in the comments below. What team do you want? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Uh, what do you think about my team? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell to never miss an upload. Follow me on Twitter at Son of Chelsea and I'll see you again. Thank you.